You're tarnished, aren't you? Then, perhaps you could spare some runes. Believe it or not, I studied Blintstone sorceries at the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. For a small donation, I'd be happy to share my knowledge. Well, bless you, bless you. You're a true saint. My name is Tobes. Presuming you're interested, I can teach you sorceries, as promised. Only, none of them are particularly great. Apologies, friend. I'm afraid my meager sorceries are no match for your generosity. All oh, right. I can tell you what I know about this place. That should help a bit. You've seen that structure to the north, towering over the water. That's the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, where we study glintstone sorceries. Only its doors have been closed for quite some time now. After they declared they wouldn't interfere with the shattering, the Academy cast repelling seals on the east gate leading to the capital, and the south gate leading here. As you might have guessed, the seals are still active, making entry to the Academy impossible without a glintstone key. And so I'm stuck here. A fledgling sorcerer, with little chance of acquiring a key. When they cast the seals, I'd just popped out. And now I'm uprooted from my place of learning. Why not find yourself a glintstone key? Without one, you can't pass through the academy. And you'll never reach the Erdtree capital. And if you find an extra glintstone key, perhaps... Once you've tied up all your loose ends, and I can be very patient, would you consider donating it to me? I know it. I'm a blunt stone. Mary a hint of talent for sorcery. But still, my place is at the Academy.
are you doing here? You must leave this place at once. They'll rush in and beat you to a pulp. You'll end up just like me. Wait. Is that what I think it is? You got it back for me. My sewing needle. you go and do a thing like that? My mum was a seamstress, and that sewing kit was all I had to remember her by. I always wanted to be just like sweet old mum. Oh, then I s suppose I, I can't just curl up and die, can I? Thank you. You're very kind. I always wanted to be a seamster like like my mum. Then I suppose I I can't just curl up and die, can I? Oi! You you there. Could you help us out, Cully? tree. You were just breaking the spell, weren't you? Thank you. The name's Bok. I was pushed out of the cave. Told not to come back. Not ever. Then I ended up as a tree. <laughs> Lucky you came along, really. Oh, what a shame. When they threw me out of the cave, they took everything I owned, and so this is all I have to express my thanks. I hope you can forgive me. Or, well, if you can afford to wait for a while, I could sneak back into the cave and bring back something of actual value. Then I'd be of some real use to you, I reckon. Do you uh, remember me? A bock, the demi-human. You helped me before and retrieved my sewing needle. Please, Master, allow me to serve you as your seamster. I can't make nothing from scratch, but I'm happy to make adjustments to your garments. Master, I was wondering, do you ever make adjustments to your garb yourself? I would, well, rather you let me do the job when possible, please. 
I don't ask anything in return, you know, and, well, I am your personal seamster after all. Oh. Are you that new tarnished? You've done well. I am Enya, the finger reader. I interpret the words of the fingers, envoys to the greater will. Look there. The fingers tremble to welcome you, Shardbearer. Let their wisdom wash over you. Great Elden Ring, root of the Golden Order, anchor of all lands, giver of grace, wellspring of all joy. Until it was shattered, the tragic corruption of the Order has taken its toll. Across the realm, Life lies in ruin, fallen to pieces. Foul curses and misery spread, unabating. But the greater will has not abandoned the realm, nor the life that inhabits it. So it is that the tarnished are guided by grace, called to act. Brave tarnished, your great rune is a handsome shard of the Elden Ring. Seek another of its kind to become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Well, well, I see. A remembrance of gold has found its way into your possession. Demigods and even the crater of the champions are hewn by the earth tree upon their end into remembrances. They are valuable indeed. These remembrances yet house the power of their former masters. And should you wish to wield that same power, well, I will lend you the strength of the fingers. Oh, do not recoil from my offer. The fingers guide us all, and you tarnish. You are here to take, are you not? Ah, great runes are the stuff of demigods. The children of the goddess, Queen Marika. She who is vessel of the Elden Ring. Tainted by the strength of their runes, her children warred, but none could become Elden Lord. And so grace was extended to your kind, the tarnished. Listen, the fingers speak. The greater will has long renounced the demigods. Tarnished. Show no mercy. Have their heads. Take all they have left. Indeed. But remember one thing. The demigods are each and all the direct offspring of Queen Marika. Godric the Grafted was but a distant relation. The runt of the litter. His divine blood sorely diluted.
You have received the wisdom of the two fingers, have you not? Then, just as promised, I bid you welcome. As a true member of the Round Table, I am known as Gideon Ofnir. As a tarnished who wishes to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord, I am accumulating knowledge. To be all-knowing. You now belong to a select group of fellows. As such, I ask that you remain constant. You'll be after more great runes now, eh? Then as your fellow, allow me to divulge a little knowledge. The inheritors of the great runes, the shard bearers. We of the round table know the location of five of them, including the one you defeated. Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. General Radan, who fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caled Wilds. Praetor Rykard, Lord of the Volcano Manor of Mount Gelmir. Morgoth, the Grace Given, Veiled Monarch and Lord of Lame Dell, and Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, ruler of Rhea Lucaria's Academy. You'll still be after more great runes, won't you? So, Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. Despite being the blood of Godfrey, first Elden Lord, He's a grotesque old fool, grasping for power. His castle lies upon the cliff to Limgrave's northwest, but I suspect you know that well enough already. General Radan, the famed Red Lion and Scourge of the Stars, is a ferocious warrior. He fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caled Wilds to Limgrave's east. And now, Caled has been engulfed by the Scarlet Rot, even approaching the region is no mean feat. I've heard survivors of Radan's army are still in the wilds, staving off the rot with fire. And if it's true, I suspect Radan is still there as well, in Caled. Though, I doubt he much resembles his former self anymore. Praetor Rikard is the lord of the Volcano Manor on Mount Gelmir. He is a ruthless justicia who commands a company of inquisitors, reviled for his serpentine demeanor. The volcano, Mount Gelmir, lies in the west of the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. It was the stage of the most appalling battle in the entirety of the Shattering. Rikard has committed the grave sin of blasphemy, marking himself as an enemy never to be forgiven. The Academy of Rhea Lucaria lies to Limgrave's north, towering over the mist-laden lands of Lyernia. Renala is queen of the Carian royals, who govern the Academy. But Renala herself is no demigod. Her beloved Radagon left her to become Queen Marika's second husband, taking the title of King Consort. The Great Room dwells within the Amber Egg that was Radagon's gift to her. I understand you've been speaking to Nefeli. She's my daughter. I took her in when she lost the guidance of grace. Though a mere axe-wielding barbarian, her youthful credulity suited my purposes. So I put her to work. Do not hesitate to employ her. Should her services benefit you? Despite her looks, she is more than capable in the press of battle. Morgoth the Grace Given is Lord of Landell, the capital city. It lies at the foot of the Erd Tree, in the east of the Altus Plateau. But the Two Fingers forbid us from venturing there, until we've acquired enough great runes to repair the Elden Ring. Set your sights elsewhere for the time being. The Veiled Monarch can wait. to learn another. Wonderful. You're most welcome to any of my anemic little spells. Find yourself a glintstone key. Without one, you can't pass through the academy. And you'll never reach the Erdtree capital. You've taken an apprenticeship with Selen. 
Well, that is something. Selen was well known. The most promising sorceress in the history of the Academy. I followed her at school. But there may as well have been an ocean between us. But Selen was expelled from the Academy, accused of unthinkable treatment of certain sorcerers, under the name of the Graven Witch. I still don't believe the accusations. The illustrious Selen would never do such things. So you found yourself a glintstone key, but I certainly can't take it from you. That key belongs to you. By rights, you should use it for yourself. It's true. I wish to return to my place of study, but that's no excuse to impose upon others. Oh, is this why bluntstones always finish last? Head to the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Carry on with your journey. Press forward with your fight. Don't bother holding yourself up for my sake. Ah, we meet again after all. I apologize for any offense given by my bearing. But I'm quite unable to move, you see. So, what do you need? Ah, you defeated Godric and claimed yourself a great rune. Mm. Looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale, didn't we? Well done, friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on, take it. As you might have guessed, I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. Ah, so you've met D. D is an old friend. We found ourselves journeying together for a time, bound by our exploration of death. But our paths have since diverged, never again to cross. Though that's hardly an uncommon fate for two friends. You, is it? Ah, I suppose you must have seen it by now, yes. The sorry state of my foot. Oh, indeed, it is a foul fate for a land to be without a ruler. One must be found with haste. And not that awful Godric, but a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. 
I'm sorry to have lifted your hopes, but I haven't the authority to raise you to knighthood as things stand. The great Kenneth Height issues his sincerest apology. But now, I must begin my search post-haste for a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. I must begin my search post-haste for a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. Bok the Seamster, at your service, Master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. Oh, going so soon? Uh, please do be safe on your journeys. Your seamster, Bok, he is always eager to see your return. Please, will you talk to him when you can? I'm sure he would be much contented. Uh. 